probably did 13 movies that I did. Uh, has my favorite kill in it, which is, Sleeping that's bag. right, Sleeping Bag. That is my favorite kill, just because it's a weapon that you wouldn't think would be used to kill someone. But um, And by the way, I, I should say that uh, they're re-releasing, Paramount is re-releasing Part 7 and Part 8 uh, this week. And I, I don't get any money out of this, so I'm not trying to promote it for my own self. But um, there are some really good extras in these DVDs, finally. We have... Uh, the gag reel from Jason Takes Manhattan uh, in there has some really cool stuff, some, some things that I thought would never be seen. And in the part seven uh, DVD, they have the uncut kills from this movie. And you will see it as I assume that it was in the theaters and everything else where all the uh, kills were cut down and not very interesting. Uh, but in the DVD release, um, they have all the uncut versions. Uh, the quality of the footage is not very good, but uh, it's still in there. At least you can see how we really shot it and uh, not be disappointed. But still, this is my favorite movie that I did as Jason. It was my first one. I think the look of Jason is the best. and. Uh, the action that I had to do as the character was the most difficult. A lot more stunts than I was used to and uh, in a Jason movie uh, after that. that this by far uh, was the hardest one uh, as far as action. And while you're watching the movie, keep in mind when the roof of the house comes down on top of my head, it just about knocked me unconscious. Even though it was supposed to be lightweight, it was not. It was 700 pounds, they just dropped the whole thing. And if you watch, uh, when the roof hits me, there's a stunt double for Tina in the foreground of that shot. And when the roof drills me into the ground, the stunt double flinches like, oh my God, I didn't expect that. And you can see it in the movie. You're not watching it because you're watching the action you know, in, in the rest of the uh, frame, but if you watch her, she really flinches because she didn't expect it. She knew, because she was a stunt person, that um, that I had gotten pretty well uh, hammered by that thing. And I know that Elizabeth Cate, one of the characters that uh, I actually throw out of a window, says that her stunt double was a guy. And I, I'm not sure why she says that. It's in the DVD stuff. It's a, it's a stunt woman, but it's the same one that I used uh, throughout the movie for other characters as well as Tina. Um, but uh, she did a good job, and there was a lot of good stunts. I was on fire for uh, 43 seconds uh, at that time. 1988 was probably the longest anyone had ever been on fire, is what I was told. Uh, so it's it, it was pretty groundbreaking um, stunt at that time. But anyway, I know you guys have been sitting around waiting for the movie to start, so uh, let's uh, go ahead and watch Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood, my favorite, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks, guys.